This is a follow-up video for the Jack Audio Connection Kit on Windows setups. The first video is a prerequisite, so please watch that first. And then if you're interested in multiple VST instruments, go ahead and watch this one. That's what I'm going to uh, show you how to do now. You can use the same program, Carla, but we need to change something in the configure Carla menu and the engine. Instead of ASIO as the audio driver, we're going to use Jack. In the process mode, we're going to use multiple clients. So go ahead and make those two changes and click OK. You'll have to reboot Carla. And when you do, you should get an icon or a GUI screen that shows up as System MIDI, and that will be your MIDI keyboard. And you just take a wire and draw it to whichever VST instrument you want. Right now I have three. I'm going to disconnect the grand piano for now and just use the Fender Rhodes and this uh, multiple instrument synthesizer called the Zen Add Sub FX. And I have it set as a kind of a B3 sound. using two of those together as you see and the two GUIs that go with this you know, these links will be in the show notes how to get these and this has a bunch of sounds to it I kinda like the tremolo the best with the settings you see here I made a little bit of adjustments in some of these so if you're interested you can freeze frame the video and take a look at those one of the advantages is of the VB Cable ASIO bridge is being able to take all this audio and wire it up to the input. That's where Audacity is listening. It's listening to the Hi-Fi cable input using Windows Direct Sound audio driver. It's also going to send the audio out that same Hi-Fi cable virtual audio card that comes and installs along with this ASIO bridge. You have to make sure that the sample rates are all the same. So just right click, go to your playback device, go to Hi Fi Cable for the playback, go to the Advanced tab, make sure it's. I have everything set at 48,000 and 16 bit. So make your changes, click Apply and OK. You may have yours at 44,100. I run everything on my system at 48K. So you also have to go to the Recording tab and do the same to the Hi-Fi cable. And once you download and install the ASIO bridge, it automatically puts these in your Windows list of sound cards. This is a virtual audio cable from VB Audio that's installed along with the ASIO bridge itself. To bring up the ASIO bridge, you have to go to your Programs to VB Audio, ASIO bridge, and that brings it up. Once you bring it up, it should pop into Carla just like you see here. So then, again, check on the Recording tab of your Windows Sound Properties, Advanced tab, make sure it's the same sample rate as everything else. Uh, mine's at 16-bit 48K. That's where I have the sound card here, and Jack Audio is set for the same. Okay. I've also wired the output of the ASIO bridge back to the input because I want you to be able to hear once I start playing the recording I made on Audacity I want you to be able to hear it too so from the output I go to the playback so I can hear it but I'm also going to go back to the input which is the setting that I'm using for the video audio that you're listening to now okay so let's go ahead and set up a little mini recording and then I'll review it you, uh, if you're interested in this synthesizer here, you have to tell it where the banks are at. You won't have this when you first bring it up, usually, for this Windows version. So you have to hit Refresh. And if you don't have anything, then just go to your Settings. Main Settings, make sure everything's at 48K. Um, this is my buffer size. Go to the Bank Root Directories. You're going to add a root directory, click on Favorites, go to My Computer. Wherever you downloaded this Zen Add Sub FX, you need to find that folder and then keep clicking on that folder till you find the banks. So we have uh, Minds and Users, 
right here. Keep double clicking. There's the banks. And hit OK. So I've already done that. I really don't have to do it again. So, but I can leave it in there, no problem. That's what that sounds like by itself with organ two. This one right there. Now, one thing that's kind of interesting is the Lazy Snake Fender Rhodes by itself sounds like this. And when I add in the volume from the other synthesizer, kind of get a little bit of both. So it really lets you get your own kind of sound that you're looking for. And when you're using ASIO, you don't have to worry. An ASIO sound card and this ASIO system with uh, Carla and the Jack Audio system, you can play live performance and you don't have to worry about delay from hitting your keyboard keys and waiting for the sound to appear. It's immediate. Okay, so we're using the VBKB ASIO bridge to pipe all the audio to Audacity, checking the VU meters, adjusting the sound. So let's go ahead and do a little mini recording here. I'll turn the mic off and then come back. Then we can review this recording to see what it sounds like. Okay, we'll stop that, review it. Okay, a lot of fun. And Audacity is a free program. has a lot of nice features to it. It's very easy and user-friendly uh, to get started with, and it has a lot of deeper features if you want to dig into it a little bit. It's not an ASIO program. That's why this Hi-Fi cable and ASIO bridge combination just really makes this a great way to set up your own home recording studio and test out a bunch of things. Okay, let's uh, add the piano now. This is what that looks like. The VST. And we'll play just a little bit and let you hear what it sounds like. So, lots of combinations, lots of possibilities, and there are a ton of VST instruments, and a lot of them are free. And the True Pianos is not that one you have to pay for, but the Lazy Snake and this one are totally free. And those links will be in the show notes. Thanks for watching, and uh, I sure hope this helps you uh, get things set up like this so that you can do this too, and even in live performance, uh, really enhance, enhance your setup. Thanks again for watching.